Stevenson wraps up the Mustang Classic with a 10-9 win over Washington in league. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, you know, obviously nice, easy one. No nervy yep. moments whatsoever. Oh. Exactly. I drew it Very up. easy game. Yeah, right. uh, how much does this one mean to your team, uh, everything you've been through to get a, a huge win like this? Well, you know, the young team, especially offensively, and uh, the injuries we overcame tonight, you know, losing Connor and, and uh, you know, a couple situations that we had there. It's just really proud because, you know, we've been trying to play 60 minutes, and that's the thing. So in all of our games we played pretty well for 45 minutes and then today we were able to play a full 60 and I think they learned from that second half yesterday we played against Lynchburg and we brought that into today that toughness that you know with that but still think we got some things we need to work on uh, you know but uh, and uh, but I think you know finally our goalie showed up which was great and he had a really great game today and that's been he needed a little bit of confidence and I think we were able to give that to him so we're just really excited that we were able to get a big W you know, we know our guys can do it but sometimes when you got teams you got to kind of teach them how to win and what to do and now we knew our guys have it in it and but we, we got to finish the game a little bit better though you know up 10 7 we have a seven we have several great shots of picking up a ground ball and we just miss it and give them some opportunities um, with that so but we got to get healthy and we have another you know just another average team yeah. next week yeah. nice easy one next yeah. saturday on the road yeah. All right, um, a couple of guys. You mentioned the scoreies, but I want to bring up a couple others. You yep. said, you know, Connor got hurt. You had to go to Bradley Bennett. Yep. And I know that the numbers maybe didn't end up being great, but yep. the battle that he gave you and staying in there, even after he lost a couple and doing some work, what would you see from him? Yeah, you know, Bradley's just, you know, he's been grinding. You know, he's a, he's a really good player. He's been getting better and doing certain things. He needs to take care of the ball a bit better, but he's a freshman in a tough situation. He hasn't taken a lot of face off, so we're just really, really happy. And Connor showed just such grit to come back in with his hamstring to try to give us a little bit there. And I uh, thought he got a couple end of the – a couple tough calls, unfortunately, but you know th that's what we showed tonight. I think our guys really gave a lot to do that and get us in a position, and they sacrificed and learned uh, how to win a game, and that's what that's what we're trying to teach these guys how to do it and how hard it is to win. And I think they learned a lot today. Uh, Steven Rink, something untapped there in the fourth quarter. Well, you know, Steven's just been you know uh, plugging along, and we know he's got he shows it in practice at time, little uh, blips here and there run by, but and he's just been kind of slow to mature a little bit in our system. But you know, today he finally was able to get him to go downhill and he has a big shot and, and hopefully that gives him a little confidence to go to help that second line a little bit and I think that will really help especially since we didn't have Dobbins today with you know he's out for a little bit so uh, I think he really gave us something he's a big kid can dodge and so we're really happy for Steven that he, he did well but you know he was coming coming off an ankle injury for like two years and so to finally see him get a little bit of health and a little bit of pop is great to see Steven really really go well so so we expect big things from him. now you know we can do it yep. we expect him to do it weekly and week out right it's a piece of cake yeah all right just go man it's a heck of a move though. All right, um, let's just wrap, you know, this weekend, yeah. you know, everything. I, we talked about it last night. We know how much this means to you and all of these games, the coaches that continue to rave about how important this event is. Um, just the pride that you have in being the host for the Mustang Classic. Well, we're just, we're just glad that we have nine other – great coaches that want to be a part of this and, and really sacrifice so much for them. Their resources they have to go, the travel, their families all have to come here. For them, their, their leadership that they show to be here is just unbelievable and that's what makes this weekend great because one of the best parts about Stevenson and I've been here is that Stevenson believes the impossible is possible. You just got to believe in it to make that possible and so we've done that all the time but the biggest thing is, you know, Dr. Hirschman giving us all the, the ability to do this and Brett Adams' support and you know, James Wagner, our SID he did such a tremendous job with all this and everybody that's associated with his office and all the other people you don't even know the logistics that do so much so there's a shout out to Stevenson and did so well and and all the people that came the media here inside lacrosse USA lacrosse uh, East Coast dies they're all here we got mentioned on you know the Big Ten Network today about this thing so the tournament's just great and the crowds we had today and they had the kind of games that we had today this slate of games every game was t here or there play there or there they have that and just how hard every kid played today is that and when I talk to those coaches they just I mean they love the atmosphere they love the toughness and the kids love to play in this atmosphere and I think that's why you know you couldn't get RIT toughs anywhere else you know this is the only way we got that we got that game here you know you don't get CNU and uh, those games you know you don't get York in those games anywhere else but here so the coaches are willing to sacrifice so much to be here and that's why this tournament's great because they're willing to sacrifice to make this tournament great and broadcast their programs nationwide like, you know we all get so much out of this uh, nationwide and uh, 
I think it's the best thing. And uh, talking to Jay Kuhn, he's like, oh, man, we love this. We're going to be back. And talking to Steve Kadelka, it's like, we, you have us back. We'll be here. And Brandon Child's like, if you have us, we'll be here. I mean, those coaches just want to be here. And and I think the players, you know, you know, they love it, the play. They see all, you know, you got one team warming up. You know, you got other teams watching. The games are going on. That tightness of it is just awesome. So uh, we're just really happy that it was a great event for Division Three lacrosse in particular. That's why we started this event, to showcase how great Division Three lacrosse is. And I think this weekend just showed you the brilliance of Division Three lacrosse and what coaches are willing to do. I mean, maybe those D1 coaches would uh, listen a little bit, you know, and, you know, instead of worrying about their sleep regiments and they're making sure the guys eat enough milk or food to do right, hey, get out there and play and showcase your programs and look what great things happen. Yeah, it's good for the sport. There's no question about that. Got a lot of attention. Coach, congratulations on a great win. Uh, best of luck at Salisbury next Saturday. Thanks a lot for covering, and thanks for everybody, the fans, the teams, everybody, the staff here at Stevenson. Everybody did so great. We can't thank you enough, and all the media, we can't thank you enough for being here and making this a great event. You're the guys that make it great. I just came up with the idea. Yeah, love it, man. Thanks, Coach. It's Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.